morning guys I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what I wanted to do real quick was I wanted to introduce you to a blade today that is the monthly special for Battle Horse Knives called the Tree Frog and it is a folding bushcraft style knife it's got a Scandinavian grind blade on it very similar to the bushcraft knife it's got a nice micarta handle on it that's been tooled so it's got a knurled grip built into it a little bit of a choil here on the front side very comfortable in the hand the idea behind this knife was that a folding knife could be carried for bushcraft if you could not carry a fixed blade knife or if you just wanted a backup knife to your fixed blade belt knife that had the ability to fold and be put in your pocket. Now it's not like a regular folding knife where it has some kind of a liner lock or some kind of a spring mechanism. It doesn't have that. The blade is free floating. What it has is it has two steel pins, two stainless steel pins that go through the micarta handle and into the blade into the base of the blade itself and you can use one of them or both of them I would definitely recommend using both if you're going to baton this thing but once you put those in you've solidly locked that blade in place against the frame of this knife on the micarta here and it backs up to a stainless pin that runs through here, a steel pin that runs through here the knife blade backs into so it's absolutely rigid at that point I have batoned three inch oak with this thing and I think I batoned something on camera with it today, some kind of poplar or something for making a quick uh, bow drill set. But I believe that this blade answers a lot of needs and necessities within the community because it's a folding blade. It's not a pocket knife, it's a folding bushcraft knife and I think there's a difference there and this is innovative enough to say that this is probably the first folding bushcraft knife. Definitely the first I've ever seen of this design. But it lends itself well to all the tasks that you would need in a full tang knife, other than the fact that it's not full tang, so it may not be as safe to be bashing it through pieces of, you know, five inch wet oak as maybe your full tang PLSK-1 or PLSK Scout or some other battle horse knife would be. But it's really not made for that purpose in mind. It's not a one tool option. It's a backup tool option that you can put in your pocket if you can't carry a fixed blade. Let me give you some specs on this thing. It's 01 tool steel. Completely opened up. This blade is eight and a quarter inches long. Or I'm sorry, the knife itself is eight, right at eight and a half inches total open length. Your blade length is a little less than four with a cutting length of about three and three quarters, the way I look at it on my tape. So you have three and three quarters of cutting surface, almost a four inch blade. 01 tool steel. Thickness of this blade looks like it is probably right at 3 sixteenths if I had to guess. Something like that. My eyes aren't very good right now. I didn't put my glasses on. It's probably on top of my head. At any rate, you know, I think that this knife is going to fill a lot of niche needs in the bushcraft community because it's designed with bushcrafters in mind. It's not designed with necessarily you know, the people in mind that want to carry the coolest, neatest folding knife on the planet. This is a bushcraft style knife made for bushcraft and woodcraft type work. They do have a leather sheath available for it as well. I think it's $30 and you can buy it on their same site where this monthly special is being ran right now for this knife. Now, I put a small bow drill divot with a drill bit in the Macarta handle myself because I thought it was a good mod. You know, a lot of things I like about this knife are what you can do with it when it's closed. If you put a bow drill divot in a fixed blade knife, A, you either have to have it in the sheath and the sheath is off your body, or you have an exposed blade out there while you're trying to use it for a bow drill. With this, you don't have that problem. The other thing with this is, if you're using the blade of your knife, the back of your knife, your 90 degree spine for scraping shavings or fat wood or your ferrocerium rod, again, the blade's closed and locked in place. I don't have to worry about that blade out there anywhere to cut me. All I have to do is worry about the back of this thing for shaving purposes. That makes this a very versatile tool, in my opinion, that's much safer than doing the same thing sometimes with a fixed blade knife. Well, guys, I apologize for that quick, impromptu, kind of unprofessional review. I mean, I didn't have anything laid out on tabletops and measurements and all that stuff for you. But Dan at Battle Horse Knives has been a friend of mine from the very beginning. We developed the first Pathfinder series knives together and he just came out with this knife recently. He brought it to me at the gathering as a prototype and said take a look at this and see what you think. 
I really like it. I gave him a lot of positive feedback on it, and now he's got it set up as his monthly special at the Battle Horse Knives website. So I suggest you go check that out if you're interested in the Tree Frog by Battle Horse Knives. I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate your views, appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'm off to the lake, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.